Hey guys, so it's Agent Juicy here, and today I'm going to show you how to sideload using your Google Chrome browser if DDPD is giving trouble, or this is basically for Mac or Macintosh users. Uh, first off, what you want to get is uh, Google Chrome, the browser itself. If you don't know how to get it, just go to Google and just type in Google Chrome browser download. Should pop right up as a first search. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's that's pretty easy, guys. Come on. So you want to uh, after you do that, what you want to do is basically go and click right on uh, this little arrow right here in the Google Chrome browser. Go and just click on the store. Once you click on the store, what's going to happen? It's uh, you're going to basically go in the search bar and just type in black berry and just hit enter. Uh, it's really simple, guys. Come on. So uh, then you'll be, then you are going to see this one right here bb10 slash playbook app manager you're gonna just click right here on the blue and it's gonna add it uh, for bb and it will pop right up right here so once you click on it all you gotta do is basically follow the instructions right here and for me I'll just delete some of these anyways I'll just leave it so all you gotta do is just follow the instructions right here so on your BlackBerry 10 device you're gonna hit settings about network Wi-Fi uh, and just go with Wi-Fi under the Wi-Fi you'll see uh, IP v4 so just simply click on that and uh, if you what's gonna happen you might see something like uh, this I'll try to type it in you might see something like this one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one one slash uh, 24 if you see that this is the first one and then this is the second one so be sure to enter all of them uh, and the reason that I said that is because you have to individually after uh, after you hit save what you have to do is individually go and uh, click on each one and see which one pops up for me this one worked for me usually it's the first one but uh, it should go like this just look at the screens you'll see it so and quickly enter your passcode and turn make sure development mode is turned on before you do this so once development mode is turned on uh, you're gonna see that little screen that just popped up right there and uh, basically all you got to do now is just find your uh, bar files whatever it is and all you got to do now it's it just already scans your device just take whatever app you have so this is Google Maps 7.1 and just drag and drop it right in the top hand corner right here and it's everything is going to be done over Wi-Fi, and uh, it should be well. If you if you have a pretty fast internet speed, it should take pretty long, well, not too long. Uh, and basically, you're going to see when it's completed right here. You're going to see process 50. And if you look on your device, you're going to see the app pop up shortly. So it just popped up on my phone, but I'm not I'm not going to open it because I'm not too sure. So you see success and everything's done. Once you see the log is one, you have successfully installed the app. In the next video, be sure to hit the like buttons, guys, and subscribe.